some of the engines on the island of Sodor like to be a front engine and a back engine. But no one likes to be a middle engine. It's no fun being stuck in the middle. One morning, Percy was cheerfully collecting coal cars from the smelter's yard, where Airy and Bert worked. They like to play tricks on steam engines, and also try to scrap them. Percy didn't want to be fooled by their tricks again, but before he knew it, he was stuck in the middle. Oh, bother! chuffed Percy crossly. Little green piggy in the middle, Airy teased. Oh no, called Percy's driver. Those are Henry's cars. Then there was trouble. Henry, stop, called Percy. Henry stopped just in time. Are you all right? Yes. Poor Percy. That night, Sir Topham had spoke to Percy and Henry. Whew, I am glad you're all right. I'm sorry, said Henry. I didn't know Percy was behind my freight cars. It wasn't your fault, and neither was Percy's. Every bird made him a middle engine. So you will shun freight cars in the yard until I can get to the bottom of this. Pa, said James, thinking no one can hear. I can handle those diesels with bent buffers and a busted boiler. Then you will do Percy's run to the smelter said Sir Topham Hatt. Uh, yes, sir, said James. Then Sir Topham Hatt whispered to Percy, I have a plan. The next day, James arrived at the smelter. He was determined to not be tricked by Airy and Bert. Hello, James, oozed Airy. Come to learn a thing or two from those who know. Just let me get my freight cars and stay out of my way. Yes, sir, Bert chimed greasily. James cheerfully backed up to his freight cars. He was certain that he fooled Airy and Bert, but he was wrong. Little red piggy in the middle, chortled Airy. Just like Percy, jeered Bert. I'm not like Percy, puffed James. I'm not a mill engine, and I am not moving. Good. Because those cars are rusty and need to be scrapped, along with you. <laughs> oh no, not again. Help! cried James. Then there was a loud whistle and a booming voice. Stop! boomed Sir Topham Hat. Harry and Bert, your attempt of scrapping engines ends today, or you two will be sent back to where you came from. Yes, sir, said Harry and Bert quietly. Well, James, now you know how it feels to be a mill engine. Uh, yes, sir. I have, sir, said James. But what about Harry and Bert? asked Percy. I'll tell the yard manager to keep an eye on those diesels. Now, let's get these cars to the coaling plant. Yes, yes sir. sir! And the two engines puffed happily out of the smelters.